We're back at a quarter past six on a Monday morning and talk about getting under my skin. The subject is one that... Getting that, into... You no, know, but this one gets under your skin, yeah? <laughs> okay, and we want to say well. good morning to uh, Dr. Andrew Ford, who's a resident dermatologist. Are we going to talk about scabies this morning? Yeah. And, and <laughs> scabies is caused by a little mite. troublesome little mite that it gets is. into you. It is. Gets under your skin. It is. Good morning to both of you and <laughs> to, the, to the viewers. Uh, scabies is a very uh, itchy skin condition, inflammatory, mm -hmm. itchy skin condition, and unlike the others we've discussed so far, this one is caused by a mite that gets mm -hmm. under the skin. The mite is called Scarcoptes scabiae, mm -hmm. and it's a variety <laughs> of the, it's the hominis variety, and this little mite gets transferred from one individual to the other. Mm -hmm. uh, so the first slide shows you a picture of the mite, an internet picture, and also that the mite is getting under the skin as Doug would say, wow. and that's where the mite actually lives. So when that happens, oh. what, what, is the, the, what is the manifestation on the surface of the skin? Well, the first manifestation, it can take about two to six weeks for, for you to start itching, uh, and that's because the body makes this immune reaction to the mite, and you get itching, and that then manifests itself as areas that are excoriated or scratched. You also can get an exe, mm -hmm. eczematous type of change, but eventually you get these urticated uh, bumps and papules. Does it look and like this? Yes, so this, this is an, a, a picture of the torso of a lady uh, who was infested with scabies. But it's just to show you that you can get a, a rash that's almost over the entire body. Mm -hmm. And so it can manifest itself even though there are only like 10 mites in the body or maybe up to a, a hundred or, or more if you're mm -hmm. really, if your hygiene isn't up to par. Mm -hmm. uh, it can cause a rash over the entire body. So is no, that what it is? Hygiene? Poor hygiene? No, it isn't to do with hygiene. What, what happens is that the, it's passed by intimate contact between adults and also contact between children. Hand holding is very important, mm -hmm. but of course uh, among adults when you have intimate contact, there, there's extended uh, contact between the skin and the mites can, can be transferred. The what mites can't fly or jump or do any things like that, mm -hmm. so you need to be on you for a long time. Uh, very rarely is it transferred through uh, inanimate objects and that, that mm -hmm. only happens when, when there are high yeah. amounts of the mite uh, around. Okay. So it gets under the skin, the, the female mites lay eggs and lay about three eggs per day and the reaction to this laying of eggs and the saliva mm -hmm. and the feces of the mite causes this reaction that we, we manifest uh, in the skin. So children can be affected as well, you know, children, you just see them scratching all the time and they're miserable, the parents are miserable and this again shows you the generalized rash that you can get that looks a lot like eczema and fools a lot of doctors mm -hmm. and, and people. So, th so the problem with this condition is that if it's misdiagnosed, uh, it, re uh, it relentlessly continues because without eradication of the mite, uh, you cannot get uh, satisfaction. Just showing you the legs of the, of the child again and that it can affect the, the entire body. Okay. So do the mites move while under the skin? Or yeah, the mites burrow at about a millimeter or two uh, per day, mm -hmm. and they keep moving. And actually one of the, the signs of the mite is, is the burrow. That's, what, that's a diagnostic uh, sign. Mm -hmm. But the areas that are affected are between the, the webs of the fingers, the wrists on the flexural side, and you see in children who are unable to walk, they get a pustular uh, eruption on the feet that also looks like eczema. So it's a cause of something called palmar plantar pustulosis, mm -hmm. but some of the other areas include the nipples, uh, the navel, the genitals in men is another area that itches a lot, and also the, the buttocks itches a lot. So you can get lots of nodules, and this arrow shows you one of the, the burrows, which is a, about a one centimeter uh, line that can either look white or it can have a black uh, little line in the center, mm -hmm. and at the newest point of that line is where the, the mite actually is in the body. So it requires the doctor to look very carefully at these areas that I mentioned, and especially in men, if, if a man has these large papules on the testicles and penis, then that's pathing the mnemonic of the infestation. Let me ask you though, um, are these the same type of mites that a dog would get, for example? No, uh, th it doesn't affect dogs, it <laughs> just affects people, fortunately. Okay. And it, it's uh, the mite, you know, four-legged mite. And it's l the good thing is that it's treated by just things that you apply. Okay. So you don't have to actually fumigate the house. Can uh, this be seen with the naked eye? They're very difficult to be seen because they're around 0.3 to 0.4 of a millimeter. Mm. Oh. So they can be seen under <laughs> magnification, but usually uh, they're not easily seen by the naked eye. Okay. 
that that certainly I, causes such a tiny thing causing such a, a you know an appearance yeah, yeah. yeah. this intractable uh, itching at night or when you take off your clothes is the sign so for the doctor uh, again the story or the history is of extreme importance if you don't get that story then and you and you don't examine the person properly and take off their clothes look for that those burrows mm -hmm. unless you have a high suspicion you may uh, treat it for something else and that yeah. that is a problem yeah. uh, the, the treatment as I said involves putting on uh, some medication usually from the neck down from the neck downwards on the entire body every mm -hmm. fold and crease of the body you need to apply it and in some cases it has to be left on for the whole day so you can't bathe for a whole day mm -hmm. and in other cases for 12 hours so the <laughs> it requires a lot of uh, application and also all the contacts should be treated all the contacts within the house all of the intimate contacts uh, mm -hmm. should be treated what and they should be treated simultaneously what about chairs and beds How yes do you in, in cases where there there's a high mite count you can treat the the um, bedding by just washing the bedding uh, in warm water warm or really yeah. hot well you can use warm or hot water mm -hmm. or you can dry clean clothing or you can press clothing uh, with chairs, you can just cover the chairs with a sheet or plastic. Uh, the mite usually lasts outside of the human body maybe about three days or seven days at the most. So mm -hmm. if you cover these things or if you have clothing you can't wash and you put them in a bag or let's say a stuffed toy, you put it in a plastic bag for seven days, uh, that would get rid of the mite as well. Uh, we have to take a break, but when we come back, I, I want to know how they excrete themselves from the body for want of a better <laughs> expression. I want to know if there's something that you see after you put this whole thing on. Anyway, we'll take a short break and then we'll come back with Dr. Andrew Ford, our dermatologist. We're back with you and we're talking with Dr. Andrew Ford. He is our dermatologist this morning. Our topic is scabies and we've been explaining what this mite is and uh, what it causes on the body and certainly how it can be taken care of. But you just explained to us, Dr. Ford, um, how it, it is treated. So you talked about the burrowing. Do we see anything? How does it change when it's actually coming out of the body? How does that work or does it just disintegrate in there? How does well, it work? Well, it's important to know that uh, without treatment, you don't eradicate the mite. The mite right. is there all the time. Mm -hmm. But with treatment, the mite dies. So what happens with the skin are that these very large uh, bumps that you get on the skin go down, the itchiness and the eczema type rash uh, goes away. That's how you know uh, it's gone. Mm -hmm. But left untreated, it's, it's intractable. And I've seen people have this for six months, nine months, uh, because it was undiagnosed. Mm -hmm. But the, the mite goes through a life cycle, they die, uh, new ones are made because the female mite always lays eggs and you know it can be a continuous process. One form that is uncommon uh, is called crusted scabies or Norwegian scabies and in that case the changes actually look like psoriasis because mm -hmm. lots of scales occur on the body and the mite count can be in the hundreds under one of those scales. So that's extremely uh, contagious. So for people in institutions, elderly people, uh, they are very prone to it. Also, if you happen to be immunocompromised due to an infection or cancer, that can also cause you to, to have uh, crusted scabies. 
people who are mentally challenged uh, and are able to itch, or if you have a sensory condition that doesn't allow you to, to, to feel itching, then uh, you can get this crusted form. Mm -hmm. But it's something that can be easily uh, diagnosed and treated, but, it, but the, the uh, doctor needs to have a suspicion. Okay. Uh, when someone comes with itching as a, as a presenting complaint, mm -hmm. uh, it requires a very thorough examination of the skin. But you know, it, it, can you mistake coitch for that, uh, for scabies? Well, you could. Uh, coitch has more of a sticking, pricking, uh, mm -hmm. and it goes away. But the scabies comes at night, and also other individuals in the house uh, get itching as well. Mm -hmm. So because uh, children are so, uh, there's usually one person who brings it into the household, mm -hmm. and then other people uh, <laughs> get the, the itching sensation. Mm -hmm. And then their contacts, who may not necessarily be, be in the house, can get it. So it's a, you know, it's a combination of, of the story and looking for those signs. So how do people really come by this mite that causes scabies, and how common is it here? Scabies is very common. Uh, I think uh, every month you can see a uh, few people with scabies. That's wow. because it's, it's underdiagnosed uh, in, the, in our population. Uh, and as I said, you, you have to get it from hand-to-hand -hand contact or intimate body contact. Since one of the important areas that the mite lives is between the fingers and on the wrists, uh, that's why contact is very important. In children, you're always wrestling or they're always playing mm -hmm. and you're always holding them. Mm -hmm. uh, your special partner, you're always close to them. So there are things that can, that can so cause you to So this mite is just out there. You don't need to be in any particular area or type of environment or, you know, in a it's there. Specific well, a person acts as a you carrier. See what I mean? Yeah, you oh, don't get okay. it from, from your environment or inanimate oh, objects see. very mm -hmm. often. But uh, an individual acts as a, a carrier and takes it uh, to someone else. You talked about uh, hygiene Im impacting negatively. Um, what about people who perspire a lot? You know, they tend to itch when it yeah. when it dries well, on. Well, itching due to sweating can be due to prickly heat or so-called heat rash. Or we mentioned uh, urticaria on an earlier. Uh, show as well, where the histamine is high in the body and you get swellings or bumps that last for less than 24 hours. So the important thing with the scabies is the nocturnal itching or itching when you take your clothes off. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that the, the patient usually volunteers as information. Mm -hmm. uh, and usually when individuals have itching, it's linked to, I mean, by other causes, it's linked to that. Uh, how how that difficult it is as a, as a doctor to diagnose it? Because you're, you're talking about some real personal information and people aren't, you know, uh, receptive to sharing this. Yeah, that's why the doctor spends a, a lot of time. You know, it can take 10 minutes Searching. or more <laughs> actually getting a history from someone. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the challenge for any dermatologist uh, who is diagnosing a problem is, is a perception of the public that a dermatologist or a doctor can diagnose your condition by just looking at it. Mm -hmm. So we, we get a lot of uh, patients who just want to show you uh, something that's on their skin. Mm -hmm. But it's important to follow the process and to go through that historical uh, questioning period to get all your information so that you've already narrowed down the diagnosis in your mind and then you look at the skin with a view to eliminating them and coming up with one or at least uh, just one or two. How, See long, go ahead. how long before the, the might start to impact you? I mean, they, they penetrate the body and so on. Yes, long well, be between two twos to uh, six weeks it takes you to get the symptoms, but the mite starts burrowing, as I said, every day it burrows a, a millimeter or two. And the thing is, if you have scabies and you get treated, you can always get scabies again. So this is why it's very important to treat everyone in the household, treat them all at the simultaneously the same day, the same time, get rid of the bedding, do everything that you have to do, because if you get this ping pong uh, reinfection, each time the body reaction is, is faster, so you start itching a lot, a lot quicker, mm -hmm. start showing the signs of the papules and the pustules and the, the bumps and the, and the burrows. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, well, this, this is something Seems else. Seems to be making you kind of <laughs> down here. Very concerned. <laughs> <laughs> so these, the no these, paranoia, please. You know people <laughs> have a habit of wanting to squeeze things when they see them. What, yeah. what advice would you give people in terms of dealing with when they see these things? Well, I, I don't think squeezing is ever, ever a good thing, but it, it's, it, it's in our culture, mm -hmm. and I guess it's a form of affection to be checking and squeezing everything <laughs> that's on <laughs> someone you care about. Mm -hmm. But it's never good, especially mm -hmm. when it's an infective process or an inflammatory process, especially around the face, uh, between mm. the eyes, areas like that. Sometimes, a lot of times, squeezing makes, makes things worse. Uh, but certainly, if you have itching for, for a long time and there's someone else in your family having itching, the important thing is that you should uh, 
get checked for scabies. Another thing to know is that if it's caused by intimate contact, uh, it means that you are at risk of getting other uh, sexually transmitted uh, diseases. Because uh, if you can get scabies, there's a possibility that you can, you can get something else. So scabies can be, can be a warning flag for, for checking ah. for other uh, conditions. Is that how it's categorized, though? No, it's not, it's not categorized. It's just a mode of transmission. Mm -hmm. but, it, but you have to be aware that if Makes you are you that close to someone that you could get scabies from them, mm -hmm. it's possible if you haven't done the right uh, precautions that you can get other things. <laughs> this is heading down <laughs> yeah, the wrong road. Thanks, Dr. Ford. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we, we, we and we where did the that. name come from? It's, it's really well, not it's a gorgeous it's, name. Yeah, it's, it has to do with the name of, of, the, of the mite. Okay. Scarptoscopti scabiae. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm, I'm kind of curious, though. Is there some other form of treatment other than immersing yourself from your neck down? <laughs> I mean... Well, <laughs> you, you could put 6% uh, sulfur precipitated in, in, in petroleum jelly and, and just grease yourself down. Mm -hmm. And that's used for a lot of uh, young children and, you know, infants. Also, sometimes for infants, we have to dilute the... the um, the application as well mm. because infants have a very large surface area to body ratio and they can absorb things uh, very quickly and there are some treatments that are not used very much because if you're very muscular low body fat mm. they absorb very quickly they can get into the bloodstream so one of the treatments which is called lindane isn't used uh, a lot in very uh, low body fat uh, muscular people mm. but uh, if you don't treat it Doug it's not gonna mm. go away so. okay I'm, I'm wondering you know um, any relationship between scabies and lice? You know, well, the they, they, are, they are infestations. Mm, okay. <laughs> and it's just the the, <laughs> the causative organism is different. And in mites, the, there is itching as well, but it's related to areas, either the body, uh, the genitals, the scalp. And you also look at the hair in, in some of the areas because they have these things called nits, little houses that they live in, and you look for active uh, lice. But mm -hmm. some of the same applications are used to treat uh, mm. lice. Okay. Um, you say that the scabies can, can stay in the body for up to nine months. Undiagnosed. Undiagnosed. It, if it isn't treated, you just have scabies and mm -hmm. you itch until it's, until it's treated. So some people can move from doctor to doctor, being treated for eczema. The, the problem is that if you use a steroid, mm -hmm. the steroid masks the inflammatory signs that we saw and the itching persists. So the mm -hmm. person feels better for a little bit and then the itching uh, returns. But the areas that itch are, are the giveaway sign, as I said, between the fingers, the wrists, the nipples, the, the navel, genitals. the genitals, the buttocks. Uh, so, If anything itches, go to the doctor. Yes, see definitely. Your, see your dermatologist. Just don't scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, it reminds me too of, 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 we don't see a lot of them anymore, but chinks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one made me laugh. Yeah, we don't see that very often. But I, I think we've developed a lot, a lot more. <laughs> and, you know, that a used lot to happen more when see. people had the kind of the grass beds and that kind of thing. Yes, <laughs> uh, bed bugs aren't very common. Right. I mean, you might see some of the bed bugs once a year or twice a year. But a yeah. lot of them come from other countries or may have, yeah. may have spent some time in the U.S. Yeah. in a hotel or yeah. something. But that's what I, I wanted to raise because I know there was a, a huge scare in in Manhattan about two years ago really well, at a lot of the major hotels where there were significant infestations of, of chinks. chinks yeah, yeah. yeah. wow <laughs> mm -hmm. well again they do nice there are thing. some similarities in mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. presentation in that there's mm -hmm. itching mm -hmm. but these are bumps which are called urticated papules which is mm -hmm. a red swelling with a little dot in the middle from the bite mm -hmm. uh, these things uh, usually come at the edges of your of your bed clothing so if mm -hmm. you if you wear something, if you wear like shorts and a shirt or something, then you get the the lesions in the neck. Mm -hmm. If you if you sleep naked, then you can get them anywhere. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> Dr. Ford. That. You Scabies. have shed a lot mm. of light on a lot of itchy yeah. situations, mm. and I really hope that this information has been helpful to you, yeah, and you you're you're a little more sensitized than aware. We're only scratching at the surface. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that's so corny. Yeah. Anyway, we will be right back. There's more to share with you on Morning Barbados, and yes, the brands of summer, K. Shepherd and Colombian Emeralds, making sure that they stay with us this week. So keep paying attention. Uh, it's all about the Lauren G and uh, Milano brands today. Okay. Yes. We'll be right back with more on Morning Barbados.